Do you feel stuck in the struggle bus of trading? Well, I was also stuck in the very same struggle bus of trading for five years until June 2021. Yeah, it's around June 2021 when I finally decided that I'm getting off the struggle bus, right? Uh, but the good news is you don't have to stay stuck for so long. You don't have to spend five years in the struggle bus. You can make a decision today to actually leave the struggle bus. So essentially in this video, I'll show you what I changed in my trading to get exponential results in a very short period of time. And by, by exponential results, I mean I was able to start pulling out 500 pips, 1,000 pips, 3,000 pips per trade. And, and, and that would happen in a matter of weeks. At some point, even one day, I managed to make a thousand pips in one day, right? So I'll, I'll just show you what I changed to transform my results exponentially and eventually led me to actually getting off the struggle bus. So by the struggle bus, essentially, I mean that your trading is moving back and forth. You are up today, you're down tomorrow. You are up this month, you're down the next month. You are moving forward, but at the same time, you're moving backwards. So essentially, it feels as if you are not okay. You're not making any progress. If you look back every 12 months, you're still stuck essentially in the same way. It feels that way. It looks that way. And it is that way. So that is essentially what I mean by the struggle pass. And imagine I was stuck in that position for five years until I changed a couple of things of which I'll share with you in this video. So when I changed these few things, it made a huge difference and improvement in my results to the point that two years later, which is 2023, whenever I'm engaging with people and sharing my, my, my results and what I changed to transform my trading exponentially, uh, they generally say that I have a gift. But then it's not necessarily a gift. It's just a matter of following certain principles in trading. And the good thing about principles is that they do not care who you are. Principles are universal. Uh, whether I apply them, whether you apply them, they do not really care who applies them. So long as you apply them in the correct way, at the right time, they will work for you as much as they did for me. So that is the good thing about principles. So now I'll share with you what I really changed to transform my trading results exponentially. So essentially what I did is that I started focusing on the numbers right so you might be asking yourself what do i mean by the numbers well the interesting about the numbers is that the majority of retail traders don't focus on them and statistics have shown us that majority of retail traders actually lose money in the forex market and that might be the clue that we ought to focus on numbers pay attention to numbers for us to actually transform our trading and get those results that we've longed for it took me five years five years to understand this five years to get to, to get to this point and when i understood it things changed for me overnight literally overnight that is how things changed for me so what do i mean by focusing on the numbers so to get this this point across and for you to understand it clearly we're gonna start with divergence right so we're gonna look at divergence Divergence is the first key thing. So a simple definition of divergence, it, it is the act of moving away in different directions from a common point. So that is the key, moving away in different directions from a common point. So now when I say that we need to focus on numbers, I am referring to numbers in the form of economic data. Because remember, when we say that we're trading Forex, essentially what we are saying is that we are trading one currency or one economy against another economy which is why it's called forex it's foreign exchange so the better you understand the numbers the better it will be in terms of your trading will become more effortless and it won't be as much of a hassle and eventually you'll you'll see yourself you wake up one 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 morning and you see yourself you off the struggle bus you no longer feeling that resistant no longer feeling that struggle you don't even have to look back 12 months to try and see your progress. Even looking back a month, looking back three months, you'll be able to see a huge transformation that has taken place, right? So 
when I say when we say divergent, it is moving in different directions, moving in different directions from a common point. So common points in this in this in this case, it is the data. We're looking at interest rates, GDP, manufacturing, inflation. Those are common points. And then we need to see the numbers moving in different directions, right? So what do I mean? If we take an example of USD, we select USD against let's let's say AUD. And then we just do a comparison. Look at the numbers from one car from one currency, look at the numbers for another currency and and identify a divergence. The bigger the divergence is, the better that trade or the high high quality that trade is, right? So for example, USD against Australian dollar would focus on interest rates. They have higher interest rates. Uh, the US dollar has higher, Australia has lower. Uh, GDP, Australia has lower, the US is sitting at 4.9. Uh, we'll skip the balance sheet. We're looking at uh, PMI, which we'll just focus on manufacturing. The dollar is sitting at 50 from 49.8. For Australia, it dropped to 48. It, it, it dropped to 48.2 from 48.7. We're looking at inflation. Inflation, it depends on the central bank. It depends on the on GDP or the strength of the economy. In this case, it's 3.2 for the, the dollar, which is good. It's 5.4 for Australia, which is not really that good because it's their target is 2 to 3%. So essentially, it was me focusing on the numbers, me just doing a comparison of the numbers. And that eliminated any form of guesswork. I did not have to guess the direction from that day onwards. From June 2021, I've never guessed direction when it comes to trading. Because the numbers will tell me everything. Remember, numbers do not get happy, angry or sad. So they will tell you everything. The same way that they tell me everything, they will tell you everything. Which is why I told you that this is not based on, my, on me being Osanele. No, this is based on principles. And if you apply these principles, they will work for you. They've worked for numerous other people that I've shared them with. And that is how confident I am that they will also work for you. So we're just doing a comparison. We know that the bigger the number, the better, of course, except for unemployment and also inflation in some cases. So that is what we essentially do. If we, if we go on to, uh, for example, a simple trade idea i started buying the dollar usd jpy or the dollar against the japanese yen in 2021 right so if we look at that we just look at interest rates of course interest rates for the japanese yen are still at negative 0.1 for the dollar they've climbed up to 5.5 if we compare gdp from the point of 2021 in the us G gdp went from 6.3 to 6.7 to 2.3 to 6.9 in 2021 but for the japanese yen negative 1.1 0.4 negative 0.7 then one so that made me buy what the dollar because we can see a divergence there one it's increasing exponentially for the other it's slow or it's still low we see that divergence there from a common point which is gdp even for pmis it was a similar story back in back in 2021 when we looked at uh the, when we looked at the japanese yen and the dollar even for inflation, it was the same story. Inflation was climbing higher and higher for the Japanese for for the dollar. It it was sitting at around. It moved from one point seven and then eventually got to five point four, way above their two percent target. But for the Japanese yen, it was still in the negatives, right? And if we understand that higher the the higher the inflation goes, the more pressure that central bank is getting to start hiking interest rates. So that is where we started having that anticipation that the Fed will start hiking interest rates. So only by just looking at the numbers, I haven't even looked at a price chart. I was just looking at the numbers and looking for what the most important thing is that divergence in what? In the actual numbers, that divergence in the numbers. And then if we go on to, if we go to unemployment also in 2021, we could see that uh, for the Jap for for the Japanese yen, it was sitting at 2.5. For the Fed, it was 6.2. For the US, and eventually dropped to 3.9. But it has been low and stable for the Japanese yen, sitting at 2.7 at the end of 2021. So based on all those reasons, I was looking to buy. Remember, I started trading this way, or I understood this concept in June 2021. But I was able to catch a trade in the very same year just a month later and that trade netted me 
over 3,000 pips. And the trade was USD JPY. I bought it at 112. Even today, it's sitting around the range of 150. So it was a massive trade. And all I was doing was just a comparison of the numbers. That is all I was doing. Because even now, even today, even if we compare the numbers, they're still supporting the dollar against the Japanese yen. And then if you look at consumer confidence as well, in 2021, we can see that the dollar was sitting, was sitting at around the 80s, but the Japanese yen, it was around the 30s. So all of that, it's just a comparison we're looking for the divergence and then we are acting on that already by looking at this i have an understanding of my direction i want to buy the dollar against the japanese yen and now i can go into the price chart and when i get onto the price chart there's no need for me to guess in terms of the direction am i buying am i selling no the numbers have already told me that we are doing what we need to buy the dollar against the Japanese yen. And that is essentially what I did around 2021, August. And I've been riding the wave from there onwards because the numbers did not change. The numbers kept on telling me one and the same thing over and over again. And that is how I acted and that is how I positioned myself in the market.